हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई डी ऑल दिस इज रीक एवेला पर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग एंड टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग नेक्स्ट जे एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर टू सी दिस वीडियो फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू एंड सो यू कैन लर्न वन टू वन थिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो एंड दिस दिस वीडियो इज रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो प्लीज हिट अ लाइक टू दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन द चैनल हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली मेंबर्स सो दे कैन आल्सो लर्न अबाउट दिस अमेजिंग थिंग्स दैट इज गोइंग वी आर डूइंग विद नेक्स्ट जे and i hope you will be understanding this video because this video will be really enjoyable for you and i hope you will be learning things from this video and you can check my previous uh, uploaded courses which i have uploaded on next year because that will also give you help uh, like we are doing previously on and this video will be also really helpful for you so remember to see this video from start to end over this any of the part because you skip any of the part so i think you should just miss some of the most important steps which i will be telling you in this video so remember to see the video from start to end and Also hit the notification bell after subscribing, so you will be getting all the notifications of my video which I'll be uploading, and this will that and from that way it will be also really helpful for you and it will be also helpful. So do that all things and now we will be starting with our project. So like I'm telling you, we will be just building an amazing project using Next.js, and now we will be starting to build our project of Next.js, which I'm telling you how to do that. And this project will be really helpful for you. So you know, we will be starting to build our project. So here we have to search first of all. Your search box. Open your VS Code here. You can see now I have opened my VS Code text editor from here. And when you have opened your VS Code, just you have to make new window. So go to File, Test New Window here. Now I'll be uh, I will be closing my previous window. So I will have to do it. Let's now open VS Code again. Do it full screen here. Now we have to make one folder in which we will be uh, working with our text here. So I'll be writing command prompt here. I'll be selecting location where I have to create my folder, which will be local disk set. Then here I will be creating a folder. And now you have to just give the folder name. So here I will be now writing NPS to be it. Now you have to create next step. So here I will be writing next step. Then after that you have to write your folder name. So I will be writing project nine. Now press enter here. So it will be not taking too much time and it will be creating a folder. So you have to wait a while till it is creating a folder. You can see it is installing some of the most important dependencies which we needed to work with these things. You can see it is installing the app, the app top, and next dependencies. So now it is installing next and resolving the activities. So you have to wait a while till it is doing that thing. So when uh, it will be done with these things, so we can move forward and then we can move on to other steps. But before uh, before that, we have to just wait till these things are moving uh, and till these things are just working on. So we have to wait a while. So now you can see these things are now working. So if you go to my code, uh, you can say my File and here you can see I have saved my folder and local disk app with the name of project nine. This is my folder which is creating. Now it is linking the dependencies and using my command prompt to just link the dependencies. There it will be patching some of the packages here and there it will be done with the folder. You can see it is installing some of the things here. Three uh, thousand dependencies it is installing and uh, linking uh, these dependencies so we can do it with our next gen. There it will be also not. Take too much of long time, like not take it will not take too much hour or days to work with this. You can see now it is uh, resolving that it is because now it has installed all the time dependencies. Now it is resolving that it is here which we needed to work with our project. So we have to wait a while till it is doing that all things. Then you can work with your folder and you can work with your project. So now uh, it is installing these uh, dependencies like React, Slate. As in config test and more other. So now when it will be installed, so we will be moving that. So at least uh, I will be very glad to this. Then you can just install extensions on React Native. And so you can install this ES7 React Native. Uh, not this one. This this one. So you have to install this. So you can just make a shortcut command of React. So remember to install this way. Now when you have installed, you can go to your command from the chat. And you can see now it is still resolving some of the packages which are really important. So you have to wait, and then when it will be done, I will be waiting. So now if I show you here in my VS Code and my command prompt, you can see now our uh, folder has been created. Here you can see there it is doing success. Our project and folder has been created. So here I'll be pressing open folder, go to local disk set where we have created our folder. This is the folder which is named as project nine. I will be pressing this folder and pressing select folder to open this. You can see now our folder has been opened. Now we have to work with this folder so you can get all the things in this folder which you want. So you can go to this style, uh, this public tab, or you can say this pages. Then you will be getting the files uh, like index.js file. So we will be working with this file. So here, first of all, I will open my desktop. Now there, we will be uh, we will be opening this file here. So 
here we will be running it in terminal so i'll be moving to my terminal write npm run test it is the command to run small uh next year set when we are going to next year and it will be not take too much time we have seen our test running and we have to open your default browser which you will use probably by you no problem so i'll be running my local host when next year is here in my opera browser if you are using next year if you are using like google chrome or any other default browser you can use that you can see now i have opened my uh open opera browser i have opened my next year's app and now it is running so you can see now we have opened this thing so here i'll be doing it uh, side by side now when you've done that i'll be doing it like this and you can see now it is done now when you've done with that i'll be closing this terminal here and now when you just do that all thing you have to erase these things here you will be not needing it just don't erase this close head tag here and don't erase this close head tag now i'll be saving this file you can see all the things as before now i will be copying this head tag from here copy this erase from here because now we don't need this so when you copy and uh, erase it from here you have to move there and now we will be creating one folder here with the name of component we will be creating a file with this folder with the name as header.js second with the name as footer.js and i will be making third file with the name of layout.js and remember first header should be capital of every file which we are creating due to layout.js right rafc then here i will be now writing h1 tag uh, so here i will be now making a h1 then here i will be writing layout then you have to move up and paste this head tag now when you done this you have to do one thing here like you have to now erase this meta and link tag because now we don't need these so you have to save this file here now now you have to move to footer tag do same thing here rafc just go and paste the header tag which you have done there so i will be only writing h1 here you have to write footer save this control z now you have to save this and you have to go to header and then do rafc here also so you have to download es7 deactivated script which i have showed you in the starting So install that, then you can do this RAFC there. Now you have to write header. Now save this. Move to index.js. Copy this head because now we have uh, imported the head in our layout.js and we don't need there. So there I will be removing this one thing because there is no image also. Now there this is uh, there is one style sheet. This is the style container. So we are not removing this. Now move to uh, layout.js because there we have imported that base. Save this file. Now we have to just uh import now we have to write a header text because now we have created a header file then move and same we have to create a footer save this file now we have to import these four things so here i'll be writing import header now when you have imported this you have to close this move down and then you have to write import footer now just when you have done with that save this file and you have to reload so you can see just nothing happens because now we have to use the layout tag and index out there so we can see our all the three things like header footer And layout to be written. So here I will be now moving down underneath this bracket, and here I will be now writing layout. Press enter, and your layout will be imported automatically at the top. You can see now it is imported automatically at the top. So here I will be closing this. Now copy this close layout tag here and paste underneath this close. Tag. Save this. You can see we are getting layout header and footer which we have written in three different files. Now when we are getting this thing, you can also write title. So you can write title. And title will be coming here. Here it is written create. Next time you can write any of the title. Like I will be writing title of uh, layout. Uh, I will be writing linking. Or you can say I will be writing styling uh, layout. So you can see like that I am writing. So you can write dash layout. Save this file. Title is not showing here. For showing the title, you have to move to The outdoor JS file. Now there you have to write same title just in curly bracket. Then I'll be writing create next step from here and here I'll be writing title. Save this. You can see now we are getting the title is finding the out here. So just uh, like this you can show the title here at the top. And I hope you understand how to show the title here. Now you can change this logo also if you want to change here. Like this is the logo which we are using. I'll show you. So there we are getting these things. So there it will be showing you. So this. Are the files which we are using here, and these are the some of the logos which we are using. You can just change these things if you want to change them. You can buy the other things. So here you can move to app dot js. You can see now this app dot js is linked with this. So you can just uh, write the command here. Like if I write dip tag here, so that's the thing. Now you can just use dip tag and then press the new thing here. Now when you've done with this, just you can uh, there you can move down. Then you can just uh, if I put here dip tag, then you can write H1 here. And in this H1 you can add anything like title. Now if I save this file here, you can see nothing is showing here. If I write slash, 
press enter you can see now this page is not found and you can just link this here by using router tag here so you can just uh, link that thing so there you can use router so you can see now that we have used so this router has been linked here and then you can give name to this router here so it's your choice what name will you give here so here i have just give any other name also so you can just write router now save this file here and if you reload here so here you will be not getting router slash router now press enter so you can see this router is not shown here now you have to write slash router so here you can just link these files here so you can just show the url of this file so here you can just put it uh, dot slash dot you can write index dot js save this and reload so here if i write slash index you will be showing the index thing and if i write slash header so here if i press header so like this you can just link using uh, router tag so i hope you understand how to use router tag here in uh, in nextcs we hope you understand how to use router tag in app.js file so i hope you understand how to use a router tag in nextcs i hope you understand this video also so this video was small i want to show you uh, this video was only made for beginners and I was just only telling you how to link router tag and how to use router tag using Next.js and I hope you understand this because this video will be giving help too much to a beginner if they want to learn some of the things related to Next.js. So I hope you understand, if you have understand, enjoy this video and also hit the like to this video if you have understand and learn things from this video. Also subscribe on my channel if you are new and share this video with your friends and family members so they can also learn about these amazing things and skills which we are doing. Uh, yeah, next year, so now I will be next for this for today.